Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and get comfortable, get relaxed, and get acquainted with that subscribe button down below. I am Jay Kawhi, your Detroit camera and tech guy. I think I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, we definitely gonna stick with that. Like I explained in the last video, we're gonna be taking a look into the new updates that I've made to my workspace. As far as the HP monitor that I've added on to my display and a few other decor changes that I've made. So as you can see here, using a monitor with your MacBook, not only can you mirror the screen, but you can also share it. Having the ability to move your cursor from one display to another is pretty cool. And it also leaves you plenty of room to multitask. Apple software allows you to set up the arrangement according to where your MacBook is compared to the monitor screen. This really helps when editing videos for me, it creates a lot faster workload. So as you can see here on a standard MacBook display, you have your timeline, your imports, your preview, and your effects and controls panel. With just a few arrangements, you can have your preview set up on your monitor for an even bigger display to see your work, as well as have a bigger space for your editing process. For all my photographers out there, you could even multitask having maybe your favorite anime playing in the background on your monitor while you're knocking out those edits on those MacBook displays. This monitor is a 24 inch HP display with a 1080p resolution at a viewing angle of 178 degrees and 75 hertz of refresh rate. The best thing about this monitor to me is the AMD free syncing, which means once you plug this right into your MacBook, it automatically syncs with your color calibration, refresh rate, and your response time. With this monitor, you have the choice to use either VGA or HDMI. So anybody who's using a dual monitor setup and only has one of each port on those devices, this would be a good monitor for you. Now that we got that underway, let's talk about the decor. In a previous video, I did mention I received two Infinity Gauntlets from the Legend series. One from the movie Endgame and one from the movie Infinity War. I'm honestly very pleased with my setup thus far, but believe me, I'm far from done. You'll see a lot more progress throughout this channel. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and I'll catch you next time. Peace.